Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the search and indexing options that comes with uh, Windows 11. Uh, a lot of this will apply to Windows 10, just how you get to it might vary a little bit. So when you search for files and folders in Windows, uh, you might notice that it's slow to find the results, or you might notice that it's really quick. So what indexing does is it makes an index, or kind of like a database, you could say, of your files and folders. So when you search for it, it's really quick and it knows where to get it. It doesn't actually have to go through and search all your drives, if you have more than one drive, that is, to find the information. So you could change these settings, if you like, to make things uh, work a little better for you. So what we want to do for that is we want to go to the Windows Settings, first of all. And then under Privacy and Security. Not sure why it's in Privacy and Security. It's kind of a weird place for it. Then you have a section called Searching Windows. So you click on that. So the default is for classic. And this is a little confusing. It says search only documents, pictures, and music folders plus the desktop. But that's not true because it'll search your whole computer. So let's say, let's go to my file explorer here. And let's go to a different drive, this E drive. And my files. Okay, so let's search for this file here because this is not, not in one of these locations here for documents, pictures, music. It's on a whole different drive altogether. So let's just go back to this PC. And so there you go. It found it. So obviously it's searching the whole computer here. Okay, so you could, um, so think of this more for indexing options rather than search options. And if you wanted to index your whole computer, you could check this button here, and that'll change the settings for that. But if you have it on Classic, you can actually customize what it's going to index. So by default, you know, you're going to have your Outlook, if you have Outlook in OneNote, and Start Menu, and your Users folder. And you could click on Modify to kind of see, you know, exactly what's going on here. So like you might see some of these weird CSC files. Those are client-side cache files. Um, Kind of meant to help you find items to or you know find cached items faster so you could see that these are unavailable so sometimes you kind of get some leftover stuff and you could just uncheck those and then these here are data protection files for file history so you can uncheck those if you want and then if you want to expand your c drive here you could see how under users you have all the users and then you have their you know, documents and desktops and all that other good stuff there. So that's all the default. So if you want to add some other folders, let's say you wanted to index this folder B, you could check that and so on. And then just uh, click on OK. And then you'll have your settings changed there. Then you click on Advanced and you have some other settings here, such as indexing encrypted files. And if you need to uh, delete and rebuild the index, you can do that from here. Sometimes things get kind of corrupt and funky and your searches don't work that well, so you could come in here and do a rebuild, so it'll kind of freshen things up and rebuild your entire index here too. So also, if you change some of the settings, you might want to come in here and do a rebuild just so it makes sure you have all your new locations in place there. And then here's the, the uh, location for the index. If you want to do a custom location, you could do that. And then you have your file types. So I think by default, all file extensions will be searched, but if you don't want to have it searched for a certain file type just for the sake of you know, search time, like if you don't want a HTML files or video files or something, search where you can come in there. And then by default, only the properties are indexed, so the, you know, the file name and so on and the type. But if you want to index the properties and the file contents, you could click this box so that way it'll search within files for things you're searching for. But of course, it's going to make your search time longer as well. And then finally, if you want to add a new extension to the list, you can say you have something that's not in here that you want to be able to search for or have indexed, you could add that to the list as well. So other than that, you have some options for excluded folders. So if you want to save some search time and you have some folders that might have a lot of junk in there that you know you'll never search, you could add a folder to this list. And then here's some existing ones. And if you want these folders to be searched, you could remove it from the list, or from the exclusion list, that is, and then therefore they'll be searched. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, once again, you just go to your settings, privacy and security, and then searching windows, and then you could play with all your settings in here and kind of improve your search results, hopefully. 
And then if you run into problems, of course, you could run the troubleshooter, may or may not do any good. And you have a couple of advanced options here, which will just bring up the same thing as we were looking at before. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.